my mother is the one you should have spoken with because all her life she's lived here and been very, very proud of being a, a skit ender, as they're called here. Came over on the ferry today um, because I need to collect something from Argos, but also it's like a day out for me. I, I enjoy coming on the ferry. Yeah, we love it. It's brilliant. It's uh, such a useful thing to have rather than having to go all the way into Newcastle or pay to go through one of the tunnels. And if you don't have your own car, um, you're stuck, you know. My earliest memory of um, the ferry is actually my dad taking me, my brother and my sister on a, on a trip over to North Shields and uh, he was pointing out all the different ships and all the different boats. And so nowadays whenever I do go on the ferry I always think of my dad. Have you heard that the ferry is under threat of ceasing? No, I had not heard that. Um, so no, I, I didn't. I didn't realise. But I hope they don't, you know, take it away because it's 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 a vital link. From North Shields to South Shields, um, I've never done it on the metro, but the bus takes quite a long time, and the ferry takes like seven minutes. If the ferry was to stop, um, I'd have to go through the pedestrian tunnel, so we'd add on quite a couple more hours and onto my day's commute. I, I think it, it, you just sort of look across the Tyne, admire the beauty of it all. Uh, I suppose that's emotional. Have you ever been on the ferry and dropped anything over the side? No, but this, and this is a bit poignant. When my mother passes away, and she's 104, I think I will be going out in some kind of boat and dropping her ashes over the side because that's where she belongs, that's where she wants to be. I may well do it on the ferry, yeah, yeah. I just ring up round on a Wednesday night and see what we're doing this and they come. <laughs>